Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to use Skylab to do metric operation. In particular, I'm going to use two examples. Suppose A is 4, 1, minus 3, 5, 2, 1, 0, 4, 2, and B is 3, 2, 1, 6, 0, 4, 1, 0, 3, 3, 1, 9, in a row form. I want to find A times B, and also find A inverse by Skylab. Now, Skylab is an open source software. We, we can do many things, but we are going to fo focus on doing metric operation. So let's go to the Skylab now. The Skylab, what you see is a Skylab console. So the first thing we're going to do is to enter the metric A. So I'm going to type A equal to now square bracket, then type the first row of A. Now the first row of A in this case is 4, 1, minus 3. Then 5, 2, 1, then 0, 4, 2. So 4, 1, minus 3, 5, 2, 1, 0, 4, 2. Alright, so enter 4, space, 1, space, minus 3. Then I put a semicolon for the first row. Then the second row, in this case, is 5, 2, 1. So I enter the skylight again. So 5, space, 2, space, 1. Second row, then press a semicolon. Then the third row is 0, 4, 2. So I'm going to type key in 0, 4, 2 space, then close square bracket. Then you press the enter key, then the metric A will appear 4, 1, minus 3, 5, 2, 1, 0, 4, 2. Now let's try metric B now. B Let's say B equal to square bracket. Now the first row of B is 3, 2, 1, 6. So then I'm going to type 3, 2, 1, 6. Are all separate by space, then semicolon for the first row. And then the second row of B, in this case, is 0, 4, 1, 0. So I'm going to type 0, 4, 1, 0. Okay, also by right space, semicolon, and the third row of B is equal to 3319. So I'm going to type 3319. Then close the square bracket. Then press enter, the B will come out. Now let's say I want to find out where is A times B. So you take A times B, type A times B, and then you press the E. Enter button again, then the value of A times B will show. So instead of going by hand, you can actually use Skylab to help you do metric multiplication. And let's say I want to find the inverse of A. The inverse of A, A is a 3 by 3 metric. Inverse of A is quite troublesome to calculate by hand. So the, mat the, the, the way to find inverse A is type the command INV, all small letter. And when we stand for inverse, Open a round bracket, type A, capital A for metric A, then close bracket. Now you get image, press the enter key, then you get an inverse of A. So this time the inverse of A, I don't have nice number or the small point. Now, what do you think A times A inverse equal to? So you type A times I and V of A, what is it equal to? We all know that this is supposed to be identity. Let's see what Skylab will give us. Now Skylab leaves us a number like this. 1, 0, minus 2.776, D, minus 17. What does this D minus 17? Suppose using it to be identity. Let's look at this, what it means. So I'm going to rewrite again. So Skylab give us something. So Skylab say A times A inverse. We know its identity. Now Skylab give A times A inverse into like this. 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. And the number, in this case, it give minus 2.776 D. 
20 minus 6, 17. Alright? Minus 2, minus 7, 7, 6. D minus 17. And then... Minus 4.85. D minus 17. Minus 4.85. D minus 17. What this number actually means? Alright? This is a strange number here. But this number... It, it internal numerically it actually means minus 2.776 times 10 power minus 17 same thing the number here actually means in numerically it means this is minus 4.85 times 10 power minus 17 but actually where is this number from 10 power minus 17 they are too small really Okay, this is a number very very small, almost like zero. The reason is because Skylab is doing numerical calculation and they could end up with some error, small small error. And in this case, the actual value, if you take say this number are so small, alright, this number are very small, very very small. So you can think, imagine that these number are actually zero now because something like 10 power minus 17 so small so in fact you can safely say that a times a inverse in this case is equal to 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so next time if you see some strange expression like minus 4.85 times d minus 17 it actually means the number is 0 all right so now let's go back to skylab console again so you have done some calculation already. So if you want to clear the calculation, let's say you have so many things inside there, you want to clear them. One way to clear them is go to the preference. Then you say clear console. So console will be clear. Now in order to get out of Skylab, suppose you finish your calculation, you want to get out of Skylab. What you do is type exit, E-X-I-T, small letter, exit. Then you get out of the Skylab. Okay, so that is the end of my calculation. My calculation show you how to find a and a inverse and interpret a small number. Also show you how to do metric multiplication, how to find inverse, how to input the metric. That's the end of my presentation.